Today, we'll see a new pet phrase that's sweeping the nation. Okay, easy. There, stay. Oh, oh, broken him. And we'll go in search of the world's greatest hot bug Sunday. Pet. Oh, yes. Okay, good. What's this? Oh, what? uh, oh. We'll see how to hurry up homework. And, uh, G. Snip, snip here, then, uh, oh. And we'll learn how to decorate with cats. Oh, broken pencil, but it's okay. One more, and, oh, it's starting to look like a show now. It's out of control. And now, here he is, the grandpappy of Slap Happy, the TV host that time forgot, Dave Coulier. Raise the curtain. Oh, raise the curtain. I haven't got the strength, Dave. Oh, digit all fiddly deal. I'll come out myself, then. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to Out of Control. Some of you are saying, Dave, uh, you look different. Well, some of you might even be saying, Dave, you look better. But you sure look older. Well, I, I'm not sure what, uh, what in tarnation happened, but, uh, well, we, we got it on tape, so uh, roll those clippings. Or, uh, roll those clips over. Or, uh, oh, well, just, uh, just show us what happened. Dave, you know how you're always saying that we should save time when we do the show here? Yeah, sure. Well... I have invented a time capsule that saves time. What we do is we plug it into the hurry-up machine, and it sucks all the time in and stores it, like a, like a piggy bank. And then we can take it out later when we need it. Well, Waldo, where does this time come from? From the past, I guess. They don't need it anymore. I think I'm going to try it. Maybe you should just start small, Waldo. Yeah, like, save a second or two. I can store a thousand years in here. Don't get carried away. Okay, I'll take it easy. I'll just do 50 years. Ready? So anyway, we find ourselves being 50 years older. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to learn to do the show being old. Okay? Well, all right then. Oh, sure, no problem. Whatever you say, Dave. Huh? Well, at least tell Waldo get some 50 years out of the time capsule. Well, can opener doesn't work. Oh, forget about food. You're supposed to be opening the time capsule. Food. I'm supposed to be doing something now, but uh, my memory ain't what it used to be. Oh, darn. All this thinking's made me hungry for something good to eat uh, that don't need much chewing. Cream corn? No. Uh, oatmeal? You're getting older. I mean colder. Uh, colder. Oh, if I don't remember, I'll scream. I scream. That's it. Let's eat ice cream. <laughs> Hi, we're back out on the streets again today, searching for that thing that always seems so difficult to find. The perfect meal. Today, we're in search of the world's best ice cream, and we've come here to Hollywood, California. In fact, we're right here on Hollywood Boulevard. We're at the place where they actually invented the hot fudge sundae, C.C. Brown. What do you say we go inside and make a couple of sundaes? Come on. Hey, Tim. How's it going? Hey, Dave. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, too. I guess you're going to show me how to make a hot fudge sundae. Yeah, but first, you'll have to wear the official C.C. Brown's uniform. Here. Okay. Put this on. And the hat. And the hat. It's going to make me look like a Q-tip here. A little bit of uh, vanilla first. There we go. There you go. A little bit of chocolate. That's mocha. This is mocha. OK. Mocha. A little mocha. A little mocha. Some chocolate. Now, that's the yeah, chocolate, that's right? OK, yeah. that's the chocolate. OK, it's getting to be a big scooper there. OK, some strawberry. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there we go. OK, whoa, things are flying. There we go. Now we go for the, uh, the nuts. Yeah. What are you, nuts? <laughs> there we go. OK, now we go for, I'm going to put the whipped cream on. Watch it. Here we go. Whoa, it's a crazy cow. There we go. A little more, maybe. A little more. I really like I like a lot of this stuff. There we go. OK, some bananas. Ready? OK, bananas. Bananas! Bananas! 
There we go. Another banana. Whoops. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's scary, doesn't it? Tim, that was definitely the best hot fudge sundae that I've ever had. Thank you. And we at Out of Control would like to present you this award for having the world's best. Gee, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> what do you say we go make a couple more? Sure, let's go. Sounds good to me. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Ah, mm. oh, that's nothing. Try some of this. Carburetor crunch. Or how about a scoop of rodent ripple? Wait, wait, you haven't even tried the flavor of the month. Pistachio lip sugar. <laughs> I sure could eat faster then. Uh, being this old is going to take some getting used to. Uh, Diz, stop rocking while you're holding them cue cards. Uh, I'm sorry, Dave. This being old is going to take some getting used to. Dave! Dave! Why, old Dave Coulier. <laughs> well, it seems like I haven't seen you in, in an hour. Have you got a story for the show? Dave, Dave, Dave. Remember when we were young and Stupid. <laughs> Boy, it seems just like yesterday. It was only yesterday. Dave, you remember how I used to get the big stories, the really tough stories? Ah, uh, my memory's not that bad. What I remember is you dodging work. You're the only one of us that's aged 50 years and you ain't changed a bit. Why, you don't even move any slower. I knew that when I was in my 80s, after I retired, I would pursue the only thing I loved more than reporting. Eating and sleeping? No. I was going to tour the world as a concert double-horned viola phone player. This will be my first televised concert. I don't understand it. Wait. Oh, now I remember. When I turned 75 after I retired, I was supposed to learn how to play the double-horned viola phone. Uh, after I retired, uh, I thought I'd become an interior decorator, like, like my cousin, Francois de Coulier. Oh. Today, we are visiting the famous French interior decorator, Francois de Filon. Monsieur Filon is noted for his distinctive style of interior design. Francois decorates with cats. Oh, no, 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 this is not possible. Oh, no. Leon, Leon. In with the cat. What would you like to answer? And the mantelpiece, Leon, you're stupid. On the mantelpiece? Like this? No, no, Leon, like this. Oh, let me see. He is such a genius. Where do we put the book and cats? Oh, over there. Oh, come to see. Monsieur makes me get all the cats fresh every day. Where did that cat go? There was one here just a moment. There's a room. Well, Leon, these cats underneath the phone, they belong in the dining room over there. Oh, what a catastrophe. We asked no, Monsieur I'm Feline where he developed such a distinctive style. Well, you see, it started when I was just a little boy. I used to love the little fairy creatures. Then when I became, as you say, a grown-up man, I started to decorate my own home with them. Soon there were cats all over the chateau. I knew I was an artist. Someday, I said to myself, what is next for Francois? I see myself working with the big cats, the lions, the tigers. Mm, oh. <laughs> the big cat. <laughs> Go on, you little gentleman. <laughs> Ah, that's stupid. Who'd ever decorate a house with cats? Hammer and chisel won't work either, Dave. I really built it to last. <laughs> I've been having trouble remembering how the show goes. I'm so confused. My future's all behind me now. Well, here, Dave. Look into these past oculus. And you can see what you've missed. Hey, look at that. I can see right into the past. <laughs> That's me, all right. Look at that little water bug. It, it seems like an awful long time ago. I guess my memory really is going. I don't even remember which show this was. Oh, oh that's me again. <laughs> seems far away. Now, was that the uh, how not to get a haircut? No, that's not right. Uh, was it a, a let's eat hair? 
Oh, that's not right. Oh, now I'm really confused. No, Dave, that, that's your past. Oh, uh, who are you? Oh, now I remember. Uh, you're the babysitter. No, I'm Diz. Remember? That's right. You're not the babysitter, uh, but somebody else is. Junior here never gives me any trouble. You had to do that now, didn't you? Don't you remember, Dave? I'm Diz, the stage manager, and you're Dave, the host of Out of Control. I got a memory of you, but it's kind of fuzzy. Yikes! Dave is totally spaced out. Dave's totally spaced out? <laughs> I've got to snap him out of this before Hearn finds out and tries to take over hosting our show. I better help old Dave out by taking over hosting the show. <laughs> I know how I can get you to remember me, Dave. I can tell you one of my excellent stories. Yikes, if I could only remember. Let's see. Once upon a time, there lived a little man named Rip Van Wrinkled who slept for 20 years. And when he woke up, he went to visit the three bears. And then all 12 of them went through the woods to visit their grandmother. But then the evil gingerbread boy jumped out of the woods and said, Are all the children in bed? For it is now nine o'clock. Wasn't that an excellent story? Now do you remember me, Dave? Ex, ex, Diz. D it's Diz, all right. Anything I can do? Host the show? Take over completely? Anything? Uh, no, thanks, Hearn. Uh, thanks to Diz, we got the show right back on track. Uh, uh, I think it's time for a break. Good. I could use a break. I just ran all the way from over there. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're back. Where were we? Oh, we're still trying to get the show back in order, even though we're all 50 years older. Uh, Waldo, how are you coming with that time capsule? <laughs> Explosives don't work, Dave. Yeah, but the show goes on. Our next story is from Angela Quickly, though she don't move as quickly as she used to. Well, Dave, the body may be slow, but the mind is as quick as ever. Why, sometimes my brain spins around so fast I get a crick in my neck. Yeah, well, you don't have to get cranky. Oh, well, Dave, you know, you said we had to adjust to this old age business, so I thought about some things my great-grandmother used to do. Why, she used to enjoy making dolls out of corn husks. Entirely out of corn husks. So I thought I'd try it. Entirely of corn husks? Yes, well, I couldn't find any husks, so I, uh, did find some corn products. It, it's a corn product, doll. Yeah, it seems like a corny idea to me. <laughs> What's his name? Cornelius? <laughs> oh, you have the old touch, Dave. No, no, no. Her name is Maisie. Get it? Maisie. <laughs> <I got it. laughs> you know, people do take their dolls very seriously, Dave. Why, it reminds me of this last story I did about 50 years ago. <laughs> Funny, it just seems like it was yesterday. Angela Scoop Quickly here for Out of Control at, well, what could be any pet store in America. What you see behind me is an amazing phenomenon. People of all ages literally lining up before stores are open to buy the latest rage in pets, the Bobby doll and its counterpart, Connie. Now, everyone seems to want these cute little dolls as pets. Let's find out why. 
Excuse me, why do you keep Bob and Connie dolls as pets? Oh, they're fun to walk. And they actually seem to enjoy getting dressed up. I always tried to dress up my dog, Edward, but he hated it. He'd always chew his clothes off. But Connie and Bob love it. Plus, the best thing of all is they come with their own most exquisite wardrobe. <laughs> and over here, I spot another happy doll owner. Why do you like Connie and Bob so much? Because they'll do tricks. Well, show me. Roll over. Roll dead. Fetch. <laughs> and how about you? What makes Bob and Connie so special for you? Are you kidding? Look at all the great stuff they come with. When you get a cat, does it come with its own car, its own dream house? Bob and Connie have their own plane. Come here, come here. Now, when I had a dog, I had to build a big, stupid-looking, clunky house for him, and then he wouldn't even go in it. Bob and Connie are different. They have a couple of apartments in the city and their own great house right here. It has a jacuzzi, a water slide, video game room with two computers in it. And you know the best thing about Bob and Connie? They don't die. <clears throat> All my oh, other cheerful. pets died. <clears throat> my rabbit got the flu. How oh, cheerful. And my dog ate my rabbit. He got the flu. How oh, cheerful. And the garbage truck really finished them off. How oh, cheerful. Thank you. Well, there you have it, folks. A new pet craze in the making. But you know, the strangest thing about Bob and Connie is that they don't make any noise. It would be hard to get used to. I mean, I know when my cat Boxhead wants to be picked up, he meows and rubs up against my leg. How would you know if Bobby and Connie wanted to be held? Oh, oh gosh, they are kind of cute, aren't they? Want to go out for a swing? Maybe a drive? <laughs> Back to you, Dave. Oh, you're not so bad. Other toys that make great pets are this bear aquarium. <laughs> or the Bow Wow Choo Choo. And the Piper Parakeet. Well, the out-of-control crew have been learning new ways to enjoy their old age. Uh, Hearn and I have taken up checkers. Hearn, Hearn, that's my piece there. You can't move it. Now cut that down. Oh, that's not right. How'd that go? Uh, now cut that up. Oh, no, wait. Wasn't it about to turn that off? No, no, no. It was cut around that. Well, anyhow, uh, Diz is over there knitting us a new curtain. Or was that cut me one, too? No, that wasn't it. Uh, and, and Angela's over here. She's uh, going through all of our files and writing our memoirs. Since you're old codger now, <laughs> I made you an automatic codging machine. <laughs> uh, uh, Waldo, you're supposed to be opening the time capsule. I forgot. Hey, you want to see what I made for an old geezer? Waldo, get back on that time capsule. Uh, 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 well, Hearn, you, you took my last piece. It looks like you win. Uh, uh, you want to play again? Sure. Get some more checkers. Well, what's wrong with these? I want these fair and square. Well, square anyway. Well, I've got them, and I'm not giving them back. Well, I can't play anymore. It's getting late. Later than you think, Dave. Well, what time is it? Time for the next story. Okay, uh, uh, spin that wheel. Don't you mean roll that clip? Oh, shut up, Hearn. <laughs> hey, would you hurry up? <laughs> We have a letter here from Penny Lane of Strawberry Fields, Indiana. And Penny says there's always too much homework and not enough time. Well, it looks like he could use a hurry up. Uh, so could I, probably. Uh, well, this hurry up's for you.
just uh, resting my eyes. Oh, good. And now you can look at the memoir photo album I put together. Why, now we can see ourselves when we were young and sprightly in the flower of youth. Oh, you mean this morning? Oh, no, further back than that. And you know what? We were all pretty cute back then. Even Hearn. Look at me. <laughs> Look at that nose. I was already a news hound. Nothing could get past me. Especially a burger, Hearn. Boy, was I ever cute. Look at those rosy cheeks. Yeah, you look pretty sneaky, all right. Oh, I remember that picture. That was the year I worked on the Sutherland School paper. Did you have to look so cheerful about it? There's me, stacking cans. What were you making? A candelabra? <laughs> Took two days to take that picture. I wouldn't stand still. <laughs> oh, I was cute then. Oh, <laughs> cut it out. Oh, Jesus! look so, so excellent. <laughs> oh, look, even in this picture, you can tell how shy I was going to grow up to be. Gosh, I was a handsome young lad. Of course, I'm a handsome old lad, too. And there's more of me to love. And I run slower, so it's easier to catch me to love me. <laughs> Maybe this isn't that bad after all. I don't know, I'd still be mighty happy to get back to our normal juvenile out-of-control cells. Hey, everybody! I figured out how to open the time capsule. Oh, well, what? the candle didn't work, and the dynamite didn't work, and my laser beam didn't work. So I started thinking. Last resort, eh, Waldo? <laughs> What's this valve on the bottom of the thing for? Well, hit to let time out. Okay, everybody. Get ready to get young. Excellent. You know are you sure we'll get our 50 years back? Oh, at least. At least. Oh, 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 oh. It's way too young. I... I'm too smart to hold up on a tree of cue cards. <laughs> well, you're too young to do the show. But I can still host the show. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, don't worry, everyone. We'll grow up in time to finish the show. We promise. Bye-bye. <laughs> Opinion, the oldest thing about this show is the joke. <laughs> okay, okay, you 